Tonight we're going to be eating dinner here at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Hi everybody, welcome to the world of Micah. Tonight I'm going to be here at Disney's Wilderness Lodge eating at Whispering Canyon. You guys are going to have to tag along. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's take a closer look. Let's take a closer look. And the last time we were here, there was a huge Christmas tree right here. I'm very excited about trying Whispering Canyon again. It's been a long time since I've been here. I think it's been about two, maybe three years, and I've never videoed it before, so this will be fun. And this is called the Double Trailer Headdress. Look at the size of that. Now this is a single trailer headdress. As you can see, I guess there's only one single feather, not like the, the double feather. Oh, I see it. See how there's just one huge thing of feathers and the one on the other side is double that. Makes sense. And if you've never been to Whispering Canyon, it's kind of cool because the restaurant is literally right here in the lobby. I don't think I've ever showed you guys the totem poles in here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's so incredible. The detail, the color, everything. Oh, and there's a little plaque for it. This is called the Raven Pole. So you're supposed to read from bottom to top and there's all kinds of different animals telling the story. Pretty neat. I had no idea. There's also another huge totem pole on the other side of the lobby. And for those of you who use the portable chargers, the fuel rod, they have a station here at the Wilderness Lodge. Don't mind if I do. Let's put your rod inside. Give it just a second. And fresh power. And might I add that here in the lobby, they have chairs with some of the biggest backrest I've ever seen. All checked in and waiting to eat. Sitting here in the lobby and I can smell the food from Whispering Canyon right there. It's making me hungry. All right, it's dinner time. What the heck is going on? We're just walking to our table and they're making everybody stand up. Everyone's gonna be doing the hokey pokey. I can't believe they're gonna make you do the hokey pokey while you're eating all this barbecue. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh, I love this. They're all doing the hokey pokey. And here's my dinner date. Can I, can I sit here? Awesome. All right, you guys, let's take a look at the menu. They have some starters here. Ooh, crispy pork belly. They also have some organic mixed greens, tortilla soup, and something called a prospector nachos. And then there it is, the all you can eat, or well, shall I say the all you care to enjoy skillet. Pretty awesome. $33 per person, but it is all you can eat. And there's everything from ribs, bull pork, beef brisket, chicken, sausage, you name it, it's on there. And then they have some main claim entrees as they call it here. Everything from a New York strip to a BLT salad, skillet fired red quinoa cakes. Now that sounds pretty interesting. There's a pork shank and then they have St. Louis style full slab of ribs. Pretty awesome, but I do know that all you care to eat skillet has been here since this started. And it comes with cornbread and a salad beforehand, but I'm gonna tell you guys, this has pretty much everything you could think of. I think that's what I'm gonna get. I'd like to point out though, that this place has a wide assortment of different specialty drinks, wine offerings, but I was looking at this. Where in Walt Disney World can you get a chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, or a caramel shake that's all you care to enjoy? That's pretty cool. Well, she brought Abby this drink, which is the normal mason jar, you know, standard ball mason jar that everyone gets. Then she brought 
Mine. I want you guys to see. <laughs> she said the reason being is my drink, the Coke Zero, is on the other side of the restaurant. It would save her some trips. But realistically, she's she's saving some trips because I drink a lot. And that right there wouldn't cut it. I've just never seen <laughs> a mason jar this size full of a drink. Incredible. And I'm not complaining. But I did have to make a telescope straw out of two. Worth it. They brought us out the cornbread, which looks insanely good. It's like a loaf. <laughs> Some barbecue sauce here. And this is the salad, and it has an apple vinaigrette sauce. I've never had apple vinaigrette, but I'm excited to try it. I found that I kind of don't mind having some fruit in certain salads, so this will be fun to try. You truly really can't beat Disney's cornbread. It's absolutely delicious. It almost tastes like a cake. And the salad is really refreshing. I wasn't so sure about apples and vinaigrette because it's kind of a sweet and tangy mix, but I think it's great. What about you? <laughs> as you go to take a huge bite. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, but the bread, the cornbread is good. Yeah. If the cornbread was going to be half as good as Trell's in, then I was going to be impressed, which it is. It's really good. Yeah, I think it's almost the same. I just think it's the it's same the mix. I don't think it's the, I think it's the honey butter at Trill's Inn that makes the cornbread taste different over there. But I think this is the same cornbread mix that Disney uses, but it's served almost like a cake and not in a, the, the, the pan, the skillet. But yeah, the, the honey butter definitely makes it have that trails in flavor, but this is, this is what Whispering Canyon tastes like. It's good. And my skillet has arrived. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's chicken, there's pulled pork, there's brisket, there's ribs, green beans, corn, sausage, potatoes, and cowboy baked beans. Now, Abby got the same thing Except the red meat that you see on there is all plant-based because Abby doesn't eat red meat. She does eat chicken, but she doesn't eat red meat. So that's kind of a cool option that they have here at Whispering Canyon. And this is all I care to eat. So whatever else I want to get, all I have to do is let them know and they'll keep bringing it back. So pretty awesome. Lots of good, uh, good options here. Can't wait to dive in and, and try all this. So far, so good. Everything is absolutely delicious. And I ordered some more ribs and potatoes and they brought it on a whole new skillet. Insane amount of food that they give you here. I mean, it's absolutely incredible and totally worth the money. Everything is so delicious. And I even tried some of Abby's plant-based options over here. Pretty good. I'm not sure exactly what they make it with. It's like jackfruit. Yeah, the um, pork option is the jackfruit just because of the consistency of it. It, it feels like a, a pulled pork, but um, the other option, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it was really good. Yeah, pretty good. I, I tried it too. And I think what makes it so good is the barbecue sauce they put on it because it's the same barbecue sauce as they put on the regular ribs. So, and give you an update on my uh, <laughs> drink progress. That's how much I've had during the meal. And I'm going for more potatoes because these are delicious. Well, I think we're calling the, the white flag on this one. We did quite a number, but the good thing is whatever you don't finish that you did not reorder, they will give you a to-go box to take it home. So that's cool. So we are taking quite a bit home with us. But man, this was absolutely delicious. The sad part is we have to leave that whole thing of cornbread behind. I don't want to do it. Just, just look away. But we do have a nice bag of leftovers to take home. Well, Whispering Canyon Cafe, you were delicious. We will definitely return here in the near future. And I think we did it, guys. I think we successfully had a very delicious dinner here at Whispering Canyon Cafe, which means it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big 
thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free. It'll keep you updated with my latest video. I had a lot of fun tonight at Whispering Canyon Cafe. I hope you guys had fun watching. Next time you're here at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, check it out. It's pretty good, and it's definitely worth the money. If you would like to support this channel, please visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash worldofmica, where donating $1 a month can help fund episodes just like this. I'll see you on the next episode of World of Mike, everybody. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye. <laughs>